Good morning. I'm Emmer Goltekin, uh, CEO of Chooch AI, and I'm going to be talking about how standard AI models are now deployable to the edge uh, through the Chooch AI dashboard. The dashboard allows you to train models, deploy them on edge devices. You can connect cameras to the devices through the dashboard, and that provides you with a visual AI solution. This is what we are focused on at Chooch AI. And now I want to walk you through the platform and some use cases and uh, let's go for it. Uh, so mass deployment of AI models on the edge. Uh, that's what this is about today. And basically um, what we do here at Chooch is uh, there are three components that make up the entire uh, system. And uh, one is the, uh, the dashboard and that's the cloud account that you have. And that's, that's really crucial because that's where you create the account. That's where you uh, select your pre-trained models. You can, uh, you can actually uh, train new models on the account. Uh, you can add devices and so forth. So that's one part of it. Uh, the next part is the uh, device itself on the edge, uh, which is uh, usually an NVIDIA device. Uh, and then the third component is the uh, camera. Uh, so any type of uh, imaging that's coming in. Uh, so the, the camera is associated with the device and that's where the inferences are done and you're able to manage all that on premise and on the cloud. So here's an example of what the output looks like on uh, any of these uh, devices and cameras that you have. Uh, so safety vests, hard hats and whatever you basically train it for. And so these are outputs that are uh, saved on the device and uh, you can create alerts or you can create uh, SMS messages or email messages depending on your use case and you could aggregate all this information and, uh, and generate the reports as well. So if we look at AI as a whole uh, in terms of uh, the different uh, areas and the different types of things that you need to do to make it work properly, uh, we're looking at three main areas, and that's uh, data set generation, uh, which is the first bit of it. That's the most crucial part of it in terms of starting out. Uh, and then uh, the second part is training over here. Uh, so that's where you create the models. Uh, and then inferencing, and that's when you have new predictions coming in. So you have new uh, data coming in, and, and, and it generates uh, inferences, which are predictions of what it sees. Uh, so. This is like the cycle of it. And then the inferencing goes back into data set generation as well. So if you have new types of information coming in, new types of data, data or video streams, it's important to feed it back into uh, data set generation to uh, refine the model and also uh, update it or basically maybe train new classes or new models as well. So the device is really crucial here because that's that's where it is on the edge, uh, and you you have a device uh, and a camera that looks at uh, the area and then it does inferencing. So what's important here is to be able to put all these streams onto the devices, and uh, the reason is it, the, the 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 network uh, load is very low. There's no network load on the device, obviously, so you don't have to send anything to the cloud. The second issue is. Uh, privacy, everything stays on the device. And the third is uh, speed. It's uh, two milliseconds per inference. So it's, it's far faster than anything that you're gonna do on the cloud. You have many, many devices and many models and you can manage these devices uh, and, the, and the models uh, from, uh, from your dashboard. And then the camera is associated with the device. So you, add, you create a device and then you, you add cameras to it. And you can add multiple streams uh, to any of these uh, NVIDIA devices. So let's start with data set generation AI training. That's really, really crucial over here, um, just how we do it. Uh, so on the dashboard, what you do is you uh, first, uh, it, it depends what you're doing. So if it's facial image or object, object is the most complex. Uh, so we start with that. Uh, here you create a data set. Uh, let's do that. Uh, so it'll ask you to upload images or videos. So you can upload images or videos to create your data set and asks you if you want to do bounding box or polygon annotation. 
Annotation is a way to label uh, what's inside of that image or that inside of that video. So we'll go into some examples for that as well. Here's, uh, let's say a raw image of what you want to train. And what you start doing is basically uh, doing bounding boxes. And if it's polygon, then you would do segmentation. Uh, here you would do it and name what you're looking at. So it could be hard hat, it could have been red hard hat, and then security vest and so forth. So you basically do this manually if it's an unknown uh, object in the, uh, in the data set. And it'll start giving you these. So you upload these, you annotate them manually. Uh, if it's something new, you have to do it manually. If it's a known object uh, that the, art, the system already knows, then it, 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 it provides you with suggestions. So it creates a data set, and here you are, uh, 141 images of a hard hat and, and 74 security vest. So this would be uh, the raw images. So you would have raw annotations here. And then what happens in the back is this would be augmented by about times 18 images in order to make it, uh, in order to enrich the data set. So this is, it, it, it changes, it augments it uh, in the back end. Here, uh, you then create a perception. So you go back and you say, hey, let's, 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 we have the data set now, let's create the perception, which is the model. Um, and you name your perception, then you select the data set. You can reuse these data sets, obviously, for different types of models that you're building. And then it starts training it. And then you can see the log of what's going on. And then uh, it's actually trained. And here uh, you can do a test via upload and uh, test your uh, new perception, your new model, and then uh, basically provide feedback uh, to the model and it will generate also an F1 score with it. Uh, here you can see the JSON response. So this is the raw JSON uh, with the class title and the coordinates of what you're looking at, what it predicts. And here's the F1 score. Uh, this is an accuracy score. Uh, so the, the model generates uh, automatically the, um, the accuracy of that particular, those particular classes. Uh, but that's not enough because what you need to do is go back and check it as a human. Uh, and this is, this is done uh, manually pre-deployment um, usually or after deployment, sometimes it's done as well. And what you wanna do is you want to be able to have an F1 score, which is above 90%. Uh, and that's, that's what this is about. You need, you, you're able to download this and, and uh, actually test many, many images of it. So device deployment and camera management, this is also crucial. Uh, so uh, let's say you're using a pre-trained model or pre-trained perception, or you're doing, uh, you're, you've, you've kind of trained your own thing. Uh, you, you, want to, you want to deploy these onto the edge so that the inferencing is done on the edge. And here you have uh, the, uh, the device uh, that you want to generate. So you go on to, under devices, you create the device. This is office device, device for whatever, um, office here, and uh, it'll create the device, right? And it'll have a device ID on it. Uh, and then what you want to do is uh, you want to add cameras to it, right? Uh, so you've, you've, you have your, you know, the, your Jetson uh, line or your T4, and then you want to add a camera to it uh, or cameras, multiple cameras. You add, you add the camera, name it, the, uh, the RTSP uh, feed as well. And then uh, you select your perceptions that you want to put onto this device. So let's say it's the hard hat one or whatever, a uh, fall detection. Uh, you add these to the device. And you can see that here, it's added to the device and boom, it starts working. So what, what we're really doing here is training on the cloud and then deploying the model onto the edge or pre-trained as well, or you want to deploy something that you, you've trained, uh, it doesn't really matter. 
uh, but you're able to push it out onto the um, onto the device, and the device actually syncs up with your cloud account anytime it has connectivity. You can use it without connectivity, obviously, uh, but you can use it with connectivity as well, and it'll sync automatically if you want it to sync to automatically with the with the cloud account. Uh, if you've trained retrained a model or you've done something new, uh, or just basic system updates that you might have. So this is an example of masks and no masks. Um, this is an example of social distancing. So you could put all these onto the edge uh, so that they work exclusively. So basically what happens with the edge is you don't stream anything to the cloud. Uh, and in doing so, it works 24 seven uh, without any type of burden to, uh, uh, to, the, uh, to the network. And it's, very, it's also very, very expensive to do that on the cloud. So uh, this is people counting. Uh, this is fall detection. These are examples of anything that you wanna train or you wanna use anything that's pre-trained, uh, you're able to do that fire detection. And you're, you, you, you're able to select the pre-trained and, and deploy them immediately if, if you want to use any of the pre-trained stuff. Uh, but you might have a use case where uh, you want something specific and you would work with us uh, so that that becomes trained. Um, and we do the training very, very quickly depending on the data that our clients provide. So what's crucial here is, is to be able to deploy these uh, models and perceptions on the edge on multiple devices in, and through multiple cameras. And that's what this is really about. And to be able to manage those um, at scale. Uh, so to be able to do that, uh, we built the system, which is uh, the dashboard where you have your models and where you have your devices and where you manage those devices and cameras. And then uh, physically you need to have these cameras hooked up uh, to the devices, uh, whether they're you know, any of the Jetsons or on-prem uh, such as the T4s. And to be able to manage these and to be able to update these at one time. Uh, so to be able to train something new, deploy it on multiple devices, scale it, and also to be able to retrain it and to have them synced. So, AI is not about static models. It's about dyna dynamic models and also dynamic uh, situations uh, where you have these different devices out there uh, with different types of camera angles, different types of cameras and so forth. So you need to be able to do this at scale uh, and to be able to manage all of it. And that's what we've done as a company is, is to provide you with this platform in order to uh, deploy these very, very quickly Within, within you can, you're able to do the Docker, uh, download the Docker, set it up in two and a half, three minutes, and then uh, basically scale it out uh, depending on what your use case what might be. So it's really important that we, we, we recognize uh, what this is all about. This is all about efficiency and to be able to do these at scale and to be able to do it very quickly. And that's, that's what we've done as a company. So, I think we're done here. Yeah. So thank you for, for listening to this. Uh, this is all about the edge, uh, being able to do the inferencing on the edge, being able to deploy these models, uh, deploy these devices on the edge, and to be able to uh, pr provide that type of inferencing and that type of da data. And uh, we look forward to continue working with the ecosystem here. Uh, we are uh, a Silicon Valley based uh, AI company, and we look forward to to providing these solutions to uh, a lot of our customers that are that are using it today, and even more so moving into the future. And um, yeah, I think we can start taking questions now. Thank you.